Hi, my name is Randy, Mr. Ed Tech here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create resources uh, and share them on Edmodo Spotlight to make money or uh, put stuff out there for free for your fellow educators. Uh, so here's how you do it. First, you log into your Edmodo account, and you'll see across the top here, there's uh, a little light that you want to click on, Spotlight. And once you go there, you can see there's lots of different resources here uh, to choose from in lots of different subject areas. Uh, me, I'm more of a language arts social studies type guy, and so uh, I've uploaded a few things uh, on Spotlight, and I've already actually made uh, about $4. Um, and so hopefully once uh, Spotlight gets up off the ground, maybe I'll make a few more. Uh, when, once you click on the Upload button, you'll see here uh, three different tabs. These are live uh, resources here that I've uploaded already. Uh, you can also work on something and then uh, come back to it later. And then you can, uh, once you finally submitted that draft, it goes into the submitted uh, tab here and will be approved by Edmodo and then your resource will go live. So um, how the approval process works is you can also uh, go around and rate other teachers' resources, and they can rate yours. And I'm not sure what the threshold is for um, getting your resource approved, but these four here were approved relatively, click, uh, relatively quickly. So if you want to start something new, you just click Add a New Resource. And from there, follow the very simple, uh, there's kind of six different stages here to, to go through. Um, and it's a really straightforward process. Uh, you can create a free resource or sell something, um, and then you say if this is something that you created or is recommended by me, and then it says right here, no, it can't be just recommended by you. You have to be the author if you want to sell a resource. You can share a free one, but if you want to sell something, you have to create it. Um, so from there, you just upload the resource. There's all kinds of different file types that Spotlight will accept. Um, if you have multiple files that are part of this uh, one resource, I would suggest you select all of those uh, items at once um, and then right click and zip them and you can upload a zip file uh, as a resource. So that's kind of a neat trick there. Uh, you can take some pictures of your resource and then have those previews display to any potential uh, people that will be using your resource that you've uploaded. You want to create a nice straightforward title uh, for your resource. Um, something that you want to make sure the title that you put in there is something that someone searching for your resource uh, would be able to find. Give a brief description of what your resource looks like. You can set your price. Um, say what type of resource uh, it is. Um, you can set a one grade level or a range of up to four grades um, that your resource could be used with, or you could just say it's not grade specific. And select the subject area as well. Uh, you can have multiple subject areas, which is kind of nice. So, you know, if I do something that's both language arts and social studies related, I can do that. And then you get a little more specific down here, and I think you can pick up to four, five, six, seven, eight, a whole bunch of these here. Um, so just kind of pick them as they apply. And then there's also, um, oops, I don't want to submit anything yet. Uh, once you have more stuff that you've put in, uh, you'll have a bunch of common core standards that will come up right here, and you can select which standards your resource um, you know, meets as well. So what's really neat is as you're searching for resources, you can be searching uh, by the standards, which is really neat uh, as well. So with that, I think I'm done here. Hope you have a great day, and I hope this uh, little tutorial helps you know a little bit more about Edmodo Spotlight. And hopefully more and more people start to use Spotlight and review the resources on there. Um, this will become a really, I think, valuable tool for teachers and a great place to find resources in the future. And right now, I've already found a number of things as well. All right, take care. Have a great day.